Hello everyone, we will continue that topic, control break statements or control break events. And in the previous videos, we understood the concept of control break statements or events. We studied what are the various types of control break statements or events. Now, what we will do? We will start with the practical part for the same. So, firstly, we will take a requirement. We will understood the requirement. I will show you sample output and we will develop same to same output. So, firstly, what we will do? I will go to suppose order header table. We all have order header table. Now, what is the requirement from the customer? What customer is saying, based upon payment mode, I bought the total amount. Suppose simple example. If customer is passing credit card, so customer bought what is the total amount I received through credit card. Suppose if customer is passing debit card, so customer bought what I what is the total amount I received through debit card. Suppose customer is passing net banking, so yes, what is the total amount received through net banking? And this is real project, yes. At the end, customer always ask for this kind of requirement. What is the total amount received through credit card? What is the total amount received through debit card? What is the total amount came through net banking? So we will develop same to same kind of requirement. So now suppose this is our order header table. If I will go to the contents of that table. Suppose I'm executing that table. So you can see we have this table has currently 10 records as of now. We have so many records of credit card, debit card, net banking. Suppose I will go for suppose payment mode as credit card. Suppose I'm passing C. For the credit card, total four records are there. Total four records. And what is the amount received? 100, 200, 100, 200. If I will make some. So it means for the credit card, what is the total amount received? 600. Suppose if I will go for debit card. Suppose I am going for D. For debit card, we have total four records. And what is the total payment received through debit card? 1400. Now, suppose if I will go to net banking. So for the net banking, total two records are there. And what is the total amount received? Thousand. So we need to develop a program, same to same program, in which the input to the program is payment mode. And yes, whatever the based upon the payment mode, it will display that this is the total amount received through this payment mode. Suppose if I will show you the sample program and we will develop same to same program. Suppose I am running this program. You can see, yes, the input to this program is payment mode. Suppose I am not passing any input, yes. So whenever I will execute, it will show all the things. For credit card, what is the total amount? 600. For the debit card, what is the total amount? 1400. For the net banking, what is the total amount? 1000. Suppose if I want to filter, customer only want to check the credit card payment. So customer will pass credit card. And you can see for the credit card, what is the total amount received? 600. Customer can check multiple things also. Suppose customer want to go for credit card and net banking. So it will display the output for credit card 600 for net banking 1000 rupees. And this is the information which we will display. The collection of payment is as follows. 
and at the last we will display the message end of collection so this same to same program we will develop and in this program we will make use of control break statements or control break event and if i will go for one liner requirement what is the requirement based upon the payment mode based upon the payment mode i want to make some of total amount yes because this is our requirement what is the total amount received based upon the payment mode this is our requirement one line requirement so we will start developing a program for the same so i will go to sc38 transaction code we all know sc38 is the transaction code for the program so i will write z demo on control break statements i will go for create i will provide the title to the program demo on control break statements i will choose the type as executable program because we will execute the program i will save it as a local object now what is the input to the program input to the program is payment mode and we will pass multiple payment mode we can pass multiple payment mode as at a time so whenever you want to go for multiple payment mode yes we need to go for select option so select options we all know the keyword is select options suppose i am saying the name of the select option is s underscore pm and the keyword is for4 suppose i am writing lv underscore pm i will declare lv underscore pm type i will pass the data element of payment this is our data element of payment i check the syntax and activate so this payment mode has a deal. this date this, this variable belongs to this data element this data element has a domain of character 1 it means this variable is of character 1 this variable we are using for this select option it means this select option is character 1 i will run the program now end user will never understand this so we will pass the selection text go to text element selection text and i will choose dictionary reference whenever i will choose dictionary reference this text came from the data element data element if i will see this data element yes but we gave payment so if i will run yes our input is ready now we will only go for low and multiple selection we will not go for high range you all know very very well whenever you want to remove the high range what is the keyword no interest this part is already covered so many times and i will activate the program now i want two columns from the order header table what is our requirement we want to make sum of total amount based upon payment mode it means 
from this table, I need how many column? Two column. One is payment mode and another is total amount. If I want, if I bought two columns from this table, it means I need to create an internal table of two columns. If I want an internal table of two columns, it means I need to create a structure of two columns. So I will create a structure. And you all know very well, whenever you want to create a structure, the keyword is types. Begin of LTY underscore data. And what is first column? Payment mode. Type data element of payment mode. Now we will come on to total amount type data element of total amount i will end this particular structure now i will declare internal table and work areas We all know whenever we are referring structure type, when we always has to use the word table of. Now I will declare work area. I'll check the syntax and activate the so what is the summary of the video? In this video, we took a requirement that what is our requirement? We will make sum of total amount based upon the payment mode. And we will achieve this requirement using control break statements or events. And we start developing a program for the same we took a input for the payment mode and we used select option because we want to pass multiple inputs at a time. We created a structure type internal table and work area of we declared a internal table of two columns. One is payment mode and another is total amount. We will continue the practical part in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.